it's 2024, and that means we are in an election year. And here in South Carolina, we're heading towards the June 11th Republican primary. That means my phone, my social media, and the airwaves are blanketed with political ads. And I've started to wonder, are these ads credible? So I started digging, and I found that many of these ads use deceptive tactics. So, as an example, I want to use the race for U.S. House. This primary is between the incumbent, William Timmons, who has been endorsed by Trump, and the challenger, Adam Morgan, who's trying to paint himself as a more conservative solution. Now, these two candidates are throwing attacks back and forth at each other. And I want to look at some of these attacks and how they are deceiving. So let's roll the first ad from William Timmons. Where is Adam Morgan? He was elected to get something done in Columbia, but Adam Morgan has missed over 300 votes in the state house. Recently, he missed an important health care vote to travel out of state and raise money for his campaign. Instead of doing his job at the state house, Adam is missing an action. Now, after watching that ad, you probably think that Adam Morgan has a terrible attendance record in the South Carolina House. And that is the wrong impression. Now, the ad you just watched is technically true. Yes, Adam Morgan has missed almost 400 votes. But the South Carolina 4th District Republican Club chairman did some research and found out that in that same time period, there were over 4,000 votes. And that means that Adam Morgan has a 90% voting rate. And his attendance rate is at 95%. So here we see that while yes, the ad is technically true, it paints a very different picture than reality. And when you compare Adam's record with other state house representatives, Adam's missed votes are on the low end. Look at this. Bobby Cox and Bruce Bannister, 780 missed votes. Neil Collins, 615, and Jay West, 557. Now, I'm not here to just bash Timmons, so let's look at a deceiving example from the Morgan campaign. This ad says, William Timmons called Nikki Haley the future of the Republican Party. Do you agree with him? Now, this first is ridiculous because Timmons has been endorsed by Trump. Clearly, Timmons supports Trump, not Nikki Haley. This ad was run when Trump and Haley were facing off in the primary. So the question is, what source did they get for this? Well, I looked it up, and here is the article. The article is from all the way back in 2018, and the article isn't even about Nikki Haley. It's about Marco Rubio. In the article, Timmons says, Marco, Nikki Haley, and Tim Scott really represent the future of the National Republican Party. So Nikki Haley is barely mentioned just once in a years-old article, and the Morgan campaign is using this as support that Timmons supports Haley. While technically the verbiage of the ad is truthful, it's again very deceiving. But let's switch back to the Timmons campaign and look at another one of their big mistakes. This post has since been deleted, but in it, it calls Adam Morgan a pirate and a Texan, not a leader from South Carolina. Okay, Timmons has called Morgan a Texan. Is it true? Adam Morgan lived in Texas until he was seven years old. See how deceiving this is? Yes, technically Adam Morgan is a Texan, but he's lived in South Carolina almost his whole life. And then a pirate. What does that even mean? Well, it turns out Adam Morgan is involved with a kid's ministry where he makes digital and in-person productions where he plays a pirate. So, Morgan has lived in South Carolina the vast majority of his life. He's involved in a kid's ministry, and the Timmons campaign twists these very normal things against Adam Morgan. 
So here's my big message. I'm not just here to bash either of these candidates. I'm just here to say, when you see a political attack ad, do your research. Find out the truth. That will help you a ton when you make it to the ballot box. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.